The VTEC IS7121 is a 2-in-1 cordless telephone with answering system and video camera doorbell that allows you to use the handset to have an audio or video conversation with visitors at your front door. The system consists of three main units, the telephone base, the cordless handsets, and an audio video doorbell. This video will walk you through the installation for these three units. For directions on how to connect the IS7121 with your existing doorbell, please continue watching until part two of this video. To get started, first plug one end of the telephone line cord into the telephone base. Then plug the other end into a wall jack. Plug the small end of the power adapter into the telephone base. Then plug the larger end into an electrical outlet. Make sure that the electrical outlet is not controlled by a wall switch. Connect the battery to the handset. Place it with this side up facing up and the wires inside the battery compartment. Place two AA batteries into the back of the doorbell. Before mounting the doorbell, test to ensure the desired location is within reception range. To test reception range, press Menu on the handset, then scroll to Settings, press Select, scroll to Doorbell Setup, then press the Next soft key. Press the doorbell key on the doorbell to check the video streaming quality. If the desired location is within range, the handset will display this icon. However, if the icon flashes in red, the location of the doorbell is not within range. Press Info for instructions to relocate your handset or telephone base. Once the location is within range, the handset will display this icon. You may need to adjust the camera angle in order to have the best view of the front door. To adjust, place the doorbell higher or lower on the wall or adjust the camera angle by moving the lever on the back of the doorbell left, right, up, or down. When choosing where to place the doorbell, remember to avoid mounting it where it will be exposed to direct sunlight. The doorbell features a built-in infrared LED for night viewing. Please note the infrared will only turn on if the camera's surroundings fall below a certain light level. You may need to test conditions at your front door to determine when the infrared will turn on. When infrared operation is on, the two LED indicators beneath the camera lens turn red. After you have tested the reception range and found the best location to install the doorbell, press OK on the handset to end video streaming. Once you know where you would like to place the doorbell, use the two holes on the wall mount cover to mark the position on the wall. Use an electrical drill to make the holes on the marks. If not mounting onto a stud, insert the two wall anchors included into the holes before proceeding. To install the doorbell onto a wall, insert the wall anchors into the holes. Then align the wall mount cover with the holes on the wall. Then tighten the screws until the wall mount cover is securely in place. Place the doorbell on the wall mount cover then push the doorbell gently against the wall mount cover until it is sealed tightly. Tighten the screw at the bottom to secure. Make sure the doorbell is tightly sealed. In addition to using batteries, you may also power the doorbell with an AC power supply. For details, please refer to the user's manual available online. This concludes installation of the IS7121 telephone system with audio video doorbell. If you already have a wired doorbell installed and would like to install an additional IS7121 doorbell, please continue watching. First, turn off the power supply to the existing wired doorbell. Detach the existing doorbell from the wall. You should be able to see two wires, one connecting to the transformer and the other to the chime or buzzer. Disconnect them both from the existing doorbell. Follow the previous steps for testing reception range and installation. Insert a Phillips screwdriver into the right side of the battery compartment. Then twist counterclockwise and lift to loosen the screw and the metallic plates. 
slide the metal portion of the wire connecting to the transformer underneath the upper metallic plate. Then twist the screws clockwise to secure. Slide the metal portion of the other wire connecting to the chime or buzzer underneath the lower metallic plate. Then twist the screws clockwise to secure. This setup allows the IS7121 doorbell, whether it is installed as a front or rear doorbell, and your existing doorbell, to ring simultaneously. Remember to install AA batteries, or connect an AC power supply to the IS7121 doorbell, or only the existing wired doorbell will ring when the unit is pressed. Finally, place the doorbell on the wall mount cover and tighten the screw at the bottom to secure. Then, turn on the power supply to the existing wired doorbell. This concludes installation of the IS7121 doorbell with an existing doorbell.